Speaking of key marks, I've been playing with a bunch of different tools. I've been trying to pick this lock for quite a while. Not just today, but like in general. Nothing wants to make it pick. So, let's just go for broke. One more take. One more take. I swear, every now and this thing, the, it like rotates. There's a false set going on here. For sure. I'm trying to tell the bottom of the keyway, you know. I mean, shoot. I don't know, this looks like a pick, but it, obviously it's, I don't think it is. But no, it's not. I thought we were able to come out right now. That's so much lube on that thing. I would have sailed out of there probably broken a window behind me or something. If I can figure out which pin or pins it's, it's got a spool on. Okay, there's some, oh yeah. Oh, holy crap. Oh, okay. So there was spools in there. All right, nice. Cool, I've been wanting to get this thing out for a long time. Right, so let's see. Um, why don't we, that was like three minutes. Sweet. All right, let's, let's open it up. I wanna see, I wanna see what, what was going on inside that thing. This is hard for me because you know, I'm using a tripod with my camera like, um, like clamped onto it. I, maybe I should get some, you know, equipment or whatever if I'm gonna start making videos. But let's at least let's at least see what was in this thing. If it were spools or what was going on. Okay, so I got. Oh, how exciting. I actually, I actually picked something on camera that was, that was like, possibly worth watching. I don't know. Anyways, oh, yes. Okay, so, clicking it back. So, right now, it is picked. Nice. You, everybody saw that. That's cool. So, let's see what was in there. Watch, there's no spools. And it's going to be like, wah, wah. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm so unprepared. I have no idea what I'm going to use. I need a little hammer. Okay. Seriously, I've been trying to pick this lock for, I don't know, weeks maybe. And I just got these sear picks and I was playing with those. Then I kind of went back and forth. This was like take number 20 or something. So let's just pop these things out. Five and 
right, so that was a six pin, six pinner. All right, I think I think what made the difference was all that lube. I found a false set. I was I got the false set. As soon as that happened, I I figured. Uh, is anybody stuck in there? Nope, it's empty. As soon as that happened, it was like okay. Um, now switch to top of the top of the keyway tension, and then um, you know. Let's see if I can zoom in without knocking my camera off. The oh, don't fall off the, the the tripod here. Okay. Uh, so then I could switch it up and and uh, kind of pick. All right, it's hard to see because there's so much lube. I seriously, I went I went crazy with the lube, but. Let's get the springs out of there. Wait, I got tweezers. Gosh dang shit. Okay. Springs get out of there. Caps get out of there. Okay. Oh, there's a spool. There's a spool. Hard to see because I'm telling you, I seriously like lubed the, the snot out of it. But let's see if I can zoom in like enough to, to make it so that you can see what's going on here. And at the same time, not lose the camera off the tripod. Okay. All right, that's as much as it zooms in. So. Okay, so. That looks like, I don't know, five, something like that. That's about the same size. So. Here's my spools. Mm. Let's see without dropping that if I can do this. Okay. So there's the spool. That was in um, chamber three. Chamber two had nothing. Okay, and then these are just the. Okay, so there, that was the first first one. So. Top pin is small, so that means um, it should be a deep cut for the for the control key. All right, and then there's more spools. I think this looks like a spool too. Yeah. So, so that's chamber one. I can go through and decode it all, but yeah, there's and then there's okay. There's more spools. There's a spool. There's a spool. So. First chamber looks like it was a, a one pin or two. I think that's one. Shoot. Oh, that's a spool too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so this thing was like loaded up with spool pins. No wonder I'd struggled so hard with it for so long. Right on. Cool. So, I don't know. I was really hoping to... Uh, to be able to pick it with those sear picks because they're so cool but you know what i use peterson picks so much more that maybe maybe that's really like why i picked it with the peterson and then switched to top of the tension so yeah there it is key mark cylinder pick finally got it out of this knob oh that's cool Okay, now I need now I need something else fun to pick. And then if anyone's ever not seen here, I mean I don't know if there's anything special going on in there, but okay, so yeah. Nothing I mean nothing too crazy. I don't know if you can see up in there, there's you know, it's just kind of like a normal um small format. What is that? 
like a piece of spring came out. Anyway, oh, what the freak? Oh, look at that. This was actually, and this just fell out of the, this just fell out of the, the knob. There's a, that just fell out of the, the top of the knob there. A spool pin. I just rattled, it shook like a rattle, and then all of a sudden this thing popped out of the top. How did that get in there? Boy, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. So that was in the, that was in the knob, and then the cylinder came out. Okay, cool. That's good enough.